Apologies about that. Anyway, we will keep going. <clears throat> I basically just stop to clear out. That's what I do. I clear out. I hate how I keep talking about this. <laughs> it's just awful. But it happens every ve vehicle. It happens every vehicle. See, I'm thinking about trains. Trains? Wait, no, no. I'm thinking about planes, not trains. Although, nothing wrong with thinking about trains, I might add. And also, we want to go along by one more, just because it would make a little more sense. That's what we're going to do. Because I want it to align with the pile that it should be, well, cooperating with. There's an underground underground belt synergy thing going on right here. It's a little bit weird. Thankfully, though, there are no sort of problems with that. Do we want to increase the production of our stuff right here? I think we do, just because of all the plate that's really going into it. We may as well go a little bit nuts. We'll get rid of this light, and we'll just uh, plonk it down here. Why not? And we will add our fast thing. There we go. Fast thing. There we go. Created by you today. Created by you today. Yep. There we go. We don't really need fast ones, but oh well. We will go along by like this. Oh, no. Wrong way. God, it looks creepy, though. Wow, wow, wow. I could see that in a video. And it would hypnotize the absolute balls out of me. So that's uh, pretty good. Not really. And we want it to grab from here. And we want it to grab from... There. Uh, I guess this one should be flipped around a little bit. There we are. And also, that should be going in this direction. Yeah? Yeah, okay then. Like this. And now we create one of these, create one of these. Make ourselves a power source. Now we can... I think we do have enough room to make another one of these. And it might be something we do. Just because... The production is slow, so slow right now that, I mean, we can use these for other things. That's the thing, these extra circuits. They are pretty useful. And we're going to go ahead and do that now that I think about it. It's a very good idea. We'll just power this up. We won't have this going just yet because we don't need it to. Train's going to be interesting. Oh, wow. We still need to get ourselves some satellites and explore the zone. I like the idea of that. I feel like this map's going to be pretty big. See if we can find any maps or any places on the map that has already been created. I know oil processing is a thing we're going to be doing. We are going to be doing that first. What's that all about? Energy. Energy consumption is nil for that. I'm wondering why that is. Let's look on the power. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's not doing anything. Hmm, scratch that. We are over the limit. And now we're not. I don't know what these do. Accumulators. I guess they store energy. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose they probably store energy. Right. What we'll do is we'll make ourselves a few more of these steam engines. Because we are unfortunately using up. Also, we should be using our car a little bit more. Well, maybe not actually. But I mean, we have got stuff in our car. I don't want to bash into it and end up blowing our car up. That sounds like a terrible idea. Oh, crap. See? See what happens? Right. <laughs> also, for some reason, our frame rate is dying. Right now, it seems to be the case quite a lot playing this game. Uh, I am using fraps though. But I will eventually be moving to DX Story, which should hopefully make it a little bit better. I'm not too sure if it will. Right, so let's get ourselves some more steam engines. We apparently already have steam engines, so we don't need to worry too much. We will create two more. Need to be powered, apparently. It's a bit weird. There we are. We'll probably uh, add ourselves some more boilers as well. So if we go ahead and create ourselves a few... Oh, apparently we've already got boilers. we we'll add uh, two more because of the new stuff. There we are. I much prefer to do that. It looks way cooler. I mean, I know you can get the underground versions, but look at that. It looks like a machine. I like it. Oh, wait. We need to have some coal. Actually, the only problem that's bad with it is that we can't jump over this. But it doesn't matter too much. Well, that does a bit. Right. Uh, we'll also get ourselves the extra belts. They'll go along like this. And we will create ourselves a few more of these. Uh, we need to make four more. It's going to be very useful once we have the um, creator for that. The creator. I did it the wrong way around, I think. There we are. Beautiful. So now we should have a little bit more energy. Well, a good amount anyway. We're still sort of not looking too great. 
Ah, yeah, the uh, accumulator capacity. So it does store energy by the looks of it. And then when you, in the event of a power cut or something, you know, when you start having problems, then it will, <clears throat> well, do its job, which is pretty good. We will need to make another one of these boilers, sort of steam engine contraptions that we have later on, though. And it'll probably be something that we do sooner rather than later. After we create all this science mumbo jumbo, then we'll go ahead and do so. We will need to make three more of these, because I believe I did just use up a bunch of them. Oh, no, we have three right there, but it's always nice to have a few extras, I suppose. We'll just grab some of this stuff. It's probably a good idea that we do grab a little bit more. No, we got a decent amount of every material by the looks of it. Steel is going to be something that we do end up making... What do we need to make steel? I can't remember. I think it's just like five plate in a furnace. Or something like that. There we go. Yeah, five, five plate in a furnace. Okay, so we will need to increase our iron production. We may need to find ourselves a iron field and have steel created there separately and then just have it transported down. That might be a better idea because I like this steel plate just sort of being dedicated as steel plate since it's already dedicated itself to a bunch of different systems. Now, I forgot we were actually working down here. My mind wanders a lot uh, for those that don't... Well, for those that haven't already noticed... So, we'll go ahead and do that, and do that. Uh, wrong way. I think. No, I was the right way. I keep forgetting the point is where it's going to put it. I've got to remember that. And we'll go ahead and get some more belts, which I keep taking off my inventory for some reason. Oh, I've done it again. Don't know why I, don't know why I keep doing that, but I do. It's pretty good, I suppose. There we are. That one's already powered up. I hear a very, very interesting whop, 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 whop noise as well, which is really weird. Oh, crap! Enemies! Enemies! Run away! I don't have machine gun ammo. Get any of these turrets. Kill them all! Okay, interesting. Now, first things first, we do need to quickly swap to our machine gun. Uh, well, that by that I mean we need to quickly run towards our jeep and grab ourselves some ammunition because I completely forgot to do so. There we are. We can switch to our actual gun now. <coughs> and next, we should probably, you know, guard this position or we should go through this jungle and destroy the alien base that's up here. Is that a spaceship crash? It is. And it's got a bunch of sh uh, modules and stuff in it. Okay, and that's pretty interesting. We might go ahead and look at that later on. Some copper as well, by the looks of it. Oh, nice. But anyway, we will uh, forget that ever happened. Now we can actually get started with this again. Production may need to improve just a little bit as well. I feel like it's a little bit slow, especially on this side. How does a splitter work in the middle of this, like... I mean, I guess it works the way it should work, really. But I feel like we need to improve production just a little bit more. So we'll go down here. We will go down some more. I don't need to go down too much. Destroy that. We don't need it right now. We'll not destroy it. You know what I mean. And we also need to have another belt right there. That's pretty close. And we will have it... Awkward. Very awkward. It doesn't matter too much because they're both going in different directions. Okay, that's good. There we are. So now we can go ahead and drop off anything that we pick up from here. Which should be copper plate. I'm gonna make, need to make one more of these transports. Uh, f things. <laughs> one more of these things. It's a pretty good idea. There we are. Just increase that production a little bit more. Now we need to create ourselves some copper wires. Which I believe is what we're making here. So that's why you need to create these circuits. Yep, that is. So I can actually find the copper cable things. There we are, copper cables. And then we'll go ahead and make ourselves some of these circuits. Now, we did miss it on this side as well, but that doesn't matter too much because we can obviously just do this. Uh, spin that around a little bit. That's pretty good. Remember, the point is where it's going to put it. Remember that. There we are. Our circuit production has improved significantly. And by that, I mean it's... I think it's been like that for a while. And we've just sort of not been paying attention because we've been doing the other stuff. Right. Very nice. Now, we can actually have both of these lines just keep going up. Because... 
Well, we can. Look at that. Very nice. We'll get these here. Oh, no, we want to make ourselves the... Yeah, we want these. Okay, so you need all of those to make the inserter. We've already got that going on. Right, so... How many... In what's the inserter production? I'll tell you what, though. I feel like we need to improve our transport belt production just a little bit. We can do so. Fairly easily, in fact. By just simply doing that. And making another quick belt. And I'm watching myself, and we're looking at the map, making sure that we're not going to be attacked anytime soon. This does need to be powered, I think. Yep, it does need to be powered. Let me just put one of these here. There we are. Spin it the other way wound. The other way wound is pretty good. And I want this one just to be dedicated to throwing stuff into its own particular into this pile. And I just want half of them to be stored for me. And I don't need many at the moment, but I will take an extra pile. There we are. And the rest can be dedicated to actually just creating stuff, including the illustrious fast transport belts. Pretty good right now. Make another one of these inserters. And we'll just throw it in here. It's a pretty good idea. Need to power it again. Right, so we'll get rid of this power source and we'll use it. We're just going to use medium ones for the time being now. I'm going to throw this. Just put it there for the time. I don't really care. There we are. So now we, inf ha well, we have increased our production. That's actually weird. I don't want it to really do that. Because what if I want the inserters to... Well, I do want the inserters to inevitably go on its separate pile. So what we'll do is we'll grab those. We will just go round. How do we want this done? I think we just want an underground belt, I believe. Like this. And then it will just go round. There we are. I mean, I know it's a bit weird. Uh, there's probably a much better way of doing that, but I like, kind of like it. <laughs> Looks a bit weird. Very funky. Right. Let's go put two of these down. I think we only need two of them, really, to get full efficiency here. Since we've only got two of these making transport belts, they probably take the same amount of time to make. 0 0.5 seconds versus 0 0.5 seconds. See, that's perfect. Of course, they will take a little bit longer because they do need a few more materials. Now, we've already got these. So, we want to do that. And that, and then we want to grab ourselves. Do we want the fast belts? Not really. Where are they? Oh, there we go. Beautiful. And we will make ourselves some. We'll make a few medium power plant pole things. Medium power pole. Uh, medium electric electric pole. There we go. I've got to remember these words, otherwise the audience are going to be like, "What the fuck is he on about?" I'm already like, "What the hell am I on about?" So I mean, <laughs> can't imagine. What you, you guys are thinking right now, or um, the ladies and gents are thinking right now. There we go, fantastic. So that's looking pretty good. Obviously, we do need to have ourselves some more of these inserts. We keep making them, just make a few more. There we are, remember where the point goes. And we do want to have another pole right here. There we are, we'll make ourselves some of these inserters. There we are. Now, what we can do is... How many f of we can we fit here? Because I feel like this is probably going to have to go up a little bit more. Or we can go down. Okay, yeah. We'll move our car. Oh, no, no. Put the parking brake on. Okay, fantastic. Oh. Okay, I'm just double-checking on Murph. <laughs> don't, want, don't want to see him eating shit. That would be very bad. Not literally, but... I mean, well, I mean, him literally eating shit would be bad, but... Yeah. <laughs> I'm not just sure if I was going anywhere, you know, particular with that. Maybe I was trying to make some sort of funny joke. But it didn't really end up happening. Now, what we'll do is we'll go down. Can that... Is that enough for... I don't think it will be. We will only need a bunch of these anyway, so let's may as well pick them up. We've got a bunch more inserters now, so that's pretty good. It's paid off already. There we are. We'll go all the way down here. And I believe we have... No, we don't have three inserters, but we can make another one. And we'll just double check. That's what we need to make green signs. Yep, that is what we need. I should know by now, but I don't. There you go. One, two, and perfect. Three. There we are. And we've already got a bunch of these inserters down there, but I might as well use the ones that are also in my inventory. There we are. We will make ourselves some more... Oh, no, we've already got one. But that ain't going to be good enough. Oh, it will be. 
Just got to remember that the middle one is going to be a little bit awkwardly placed. So the power pole can be efficiently placed. There we are. And then we'll go on this side. And we've already got some right here. There we go. And the green science will fit with the red science. Like that. Beautiful. It's looking good though. I love it. I can make just the same formula every time and just like hope I make it in a different way. So <laughs> I'm not just sure what it is about starting a new map. It's always awesome to make science. <laughs> it's just so, it, it looks so convoluted. That's why I love it so much. Right. So we do need some more of these inserters on this side now to put the green science. And we, oh, it's got to be awkward again. There we are, beautiful. And now, make ourselves that delicious green goodness that we've all been waiting for. Look at that. Now, it does take a little while, which might be the downside to making green science versus red science. Okay, it's a little bit, a little bit longer. That might mean it's a good idea to make a a fourth one. We can do so because this is on a corner, so it should be able to pick up those transport belts at the same time. Eventually, we will put a splitter probably about here. Maybe extend this by one more when making more transport belts. <clears throat> and also, my voice just went like into the moon then. I don't know why it keeps doing that. It's very frustrating. Mm. Ah, beautiful. So there's our green science right now. And we can get that into the science place. Is there some enemies down there? Got to watch out right now. They're medium as well. Medium enemies. So we got to keep our eye open. They're going to rip through our, for some reason, double steel armor. <laughs> well, for some reason, we have double steel armor. I'm not too sure why that's the case, but we do. Right. And then we'll put ourselves another inserter. There we are. Right here. And right here. Make ourselves some more green science. And we will power them all up. Make a few more of these. Oh no, it won't. Okay then. Well, that's no problem. We'll just go up by one more. There we are. Should be able to fix it. For some reason, they can't get corners. That's good to know in the future. That would be very useful to know in the future, in fact. Especially if we don't want to split them. We can just make something in the corner and it will just grab that particular thing that's going around the bend. It might work with the same on the inside as well. Actually, that won't... No, that can't work on the inside anyway. But still, something to think about. All right, so we'll move our car. And then we can... We'll just sort of park it right here. Fantastic. And now we'll get ourselves the transport belts. Make them... Do we want to go down here instead just so it's not in the way? guess so. Obviously, we can change that later on. And there we are. Do we want it to go that far? Or do we... Like, what do we... What do we need to make blue science? Steel plate, advanced circuits, and batteries, and then smart inserters. Yeah, we need quite a lot, apparently. Blue science shall be the next objective. But now, it's time for us to start making some technologies. Now, the technology that we do require is oil processing. Go ahead and do so. Beautiful. Now, obviously, green science is a little bit slow, but it will build up where, during our creation time of creating more technologies. We can improve its production time by just adding some extra modules. But right now, we can sort of like leave it. And we know what we're doing right now, which is always nice. So, I think we got attacked around there. I don't remember it having damage around those particular areas, but I'm probably just going a little bit crazy. Right. Our next objective, ladies and gentlemen, while we're waiting for the resource oil process, is to make our satellite hub. Okay. <laughs> Nearly crashed into that power supply right there. Actually, no, we need to make the next power, the next steam grid. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I think we've got all the resources we need to make an another steam grid. Basically, we'll just have it right here. We'll probably move the turrets. And we need to move this electrical pole as well. We'll do that in a minute. <clears throat> First, we need to make this. Now, we do have quite a few supplies. So, it's already sort of ready for us. And also we want to have a slitter at the bottom here. We'll get this sort of bit set up first before we get the pumps ready. 
It means we do need a few more of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we need fourteen. So let's make. Well, can I make one more of those? Apparently. So we need to have some stone furnaces, which requires stone. Now I believe our jeep does have stone. If we just go back here. For some reason he's parked quite far away, but I guess that's because I'm going to make it in this general area. And look at all this. Look at all this oil, crude oil, right now. Yeah, we've got a few of them, so that'll do. Apparently not. Do I need to make the furnaces? I mean, it usually makes them... Oh, no, no. It wants raw. Okay, it wants it raw. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm, I don't want to hold these bricks. So we'll just throw them in there. We'll use the car. May as well. It's quite it's quite a journey. So should go nuts with that. Oh, well, okay. Be careful. For some reason, the frame rate just like, yeah, let's be good for a second. Just to throw me off guard. All right. Do we want to mine some or just like pick a few up? Live right there. Just mine it, you know. Gonna keep mining. Go back to the old manual days. Those were the days. Not sure I can agree with that. I think I'm making a bunch of them. I'm just not noticing I was. 14 exactly. See? Intuition that was. Do we want to make anything else while we're here? We've got two of these pumps, which is how much we need. We've got 14 boilers, which is also what we need. We need tubes. Tubes. The way I said tubes is very strange. We need six of them. There we are. Beautiful. And, of course, we do need boilers or steam engines. No, we've got boilers. We need steam engines is exactly what we need. We need f three more. How many is... Uh, how many do we have over there? Do we have six or uh, eight? We have eight. We have ten. Okay. So we'll make six more. Uh, seven more. So that's pretty good. I can count. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful. I was counting right there. Hopefully you count with me. That'd be pretty good. Even though if you did count with me, you've got some sort of very strange intuition going on. Or you've watched it before, uh, like 5,000 times. To remember that I say at that specific moment, one of you... Blah, 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 blah. So that's pretty great. I was just sort of making around the small talk right there. It wasn't really small talk. It was me talking gibberish for a good few seconds before I actually wanted to get started. It looks like green science is actually filling up right there. So our rate right now is pretty good. I'm saying three of these... Is exactly what we need by the looks of it. In fact, we could have two more extra science. For some reason, that's spelled weirdly. There's hashtags in there. So, lab tom. We need more lab toms. Lab dome. That's probably what I was meant to say. Lab dome beds. Do tom beds. Lab tom. Right, it's fine. Lab tom. Good enough for me. I'm not complaining. Thank you, Murph. And transport belts, which involve splitters, is what we also need. Which was part of the conversation I was having way over there. And it just sort of slipped by me. I already made a splitter, apparently. And that's pretty good. There we are. Webang. A webboom. We'll just go along like this. Why not? There we are. We'll go along that far. And we will make some of these. Let's just double check what direction they're going in. Yeah, they're going into there. For some reason, I can't get that through my head. I do not know why. <clears throat> Beautiful. And we'll go ahead and make ourselves some boilers. We do need to make some of the underground tubes. I just need to make two of those. And we need more power as well. Oh, I've already got some. There we go. Ooh, the way this is powered is awkward. Like this. There we are. Of course, now there's a bunch of coal just sort of uh, all over the place. Which isn't great. Um, that's not going in the right direction, but I think that might be because I need to make the tube first. So we'll go ahead and do so. Oh, that's awkward. So I can make it here. Why can I make it in some places but not others? As I guess because there's a corner here, but it's a bit weird. I mean, that's really frustrating, to be honest. <laughs> so what we'll do is we will have one here and... One. How's this going to work? So we want to go up by one more. Is that how that works? They feel significantly further away from each other than the other ones. But we'll base it off this one. So this wants to go this far. Oh, oh we're processing. Fantastic. So we'll go, go to... <clears throat> start that again. <laughs> that was going all over the place. We will go ahead... And sort that out in a second. All right, now I know how to do it. Good. Very good. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Uh, I need to first mine the oil from the oil spills with the pump jacks. Uh, then I can split the oil to fractions in the refinery. Good for you there, buddy. You know what to do. I like it. I have some coal inventory now. Great. So now we want to add the boilers. There we are. And we want to add the extra pipes at the same time, which we have somewhere around here. I'm not really sure where I put them. I thought I made pipes. All right, I'll probably use the pipes to make something else. Okay, there we go. All right, and now we need to make some of these inserters. Beautiful. They'll be connected with power right now. There we are. And now we need to make some more of these belts. Well, place more of these belts. There we are. So this is in the wrong place. I thought it would be. Now we just got to hope this is actually going to be in the right position. If not, then we can still do it. It would just be a little bit awkward. I have to make a second line, basically. That is all good, though. That is awkward. There we are. Sort it out. No problem. Good, good thing we saw it then. Uh, better now than later, anyway. And yeah, let's create uh, three more of these pipes. And do we have the rest of these inserts? Yeah, we do. Fantastic. There we are. And where the hell is the pump that we... There we go. It's not really a pump, is it? Offshore pump. It is a pump. Okay, good. Good. I was just testing you. That's all it was. That's not right, though. Ah, Very frustrating. Because it's so awkward. <laughs> it won't go on some corners, but it will on others. Blah, 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 blah. We can work around it. We can work around it. That's what we've been doing this entire time. Right, so the way we work around it is by just making very long versions. <laughs> there we are. The lazy man's way to playing Factorio. There we are. Beautiful. Is that how it works? No, not really. It's got to be like, it's got to be free across. So really, we're fucked. Are we fucked? No, we're not. We can just make a splitter. I, I'm pretty sure we had another splitter lying around. But oh well. Oh no, I did. So we'll just do that. There we are. Beautiful. Solved the problem. Of course, now we're using a kind of silly amount of coal on this particular zone. But obviously we can split it up and, you know, work around it later on. Pretty good, I would say. Now, we need to get some more of these guys. Fantastic. Need to power them up as well later on. Power them up now, okay? There's been good sports about it. Let's power them up now. I can always see them after I've already bought them. I guess because it turns, like it flashes, but I'm a bit too quick. And I click it before it flashes. And Well, yeah, see? I've already resolved my own conundrum, which is pretty good. And I like how they eat the coal as well when I place them down. So there we are. Now, what we'll do is we'll put some of these pipes down. Beautiful. And now the steam engines. Now, I did make a few, and they're right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, I want to get rid of this station right here. We're just going to move it. We're not going to completely get rid of it. Of course, now we have uh, quite a lot of pers uh, piercing rounds. There we are. Now, we don't want this to be destroyed at all, so I think we're going to use uh, quite a lot of these walls to defend this area in general. There we are. I think I made too many. Yeah, I are not good counting, apparently. Oh, no. I'm fine. For some reason, I thought I made too many, which actually has put me in a worse position. So, Because now when people think, is he stupid? Nope. Confirmed. Done. Lovely. Steam is online. Power, uh, light sources nearby would uh, help out pretty significantly because it would help me see. See? See? See, see? Yeah. Do you see? See? Good. Good. Put another light source here and another one there. Oh, no, I can't. These pipe things are in the way. I want them there, though, because they look cool. Right. So now we will go ahead and use the spare walls that we have to defend ourselves.